So I really like the idea of an age of void or age of darkness in Guild Wars 2. So in this video I dig a little bit deeper into the idea. And my first step was to exploring the HP Lovecraft universe, but very quickly it was clear to me that I have to understand how the Guild Wars 2 universe works regarding the void. And thanks to Arenanet, same as their balance patches, the universe doesn't make sense at all. But lucky me, that gives a lot of room to speculate. So at the beginning of all, there was void. And within the void came a being into life. And that being was Su Wong. And in this stage of creation, the void was everything. And with one entity being the all, there was no balance. So no way for life to flourish and evolve. And as a quick side note here, I think the void we encounter in Geladelf is unique to the world of Turia. And that will be important later. So Su Wong saw that the void was suppressing creation and making life impossible. Therefore Su Wong split the void into six types of magic to be specific. So the void was the primal magic and Su Wong split it into crystal, death, fire, ice, plant and water. And with the six types of magic Su Wong created balance. But unfortunately Su Wong wasn't able to control all these six domains because there was always a push and pull force between Su Wong and the Void. So Su Wong gave birth to six elder dragons and giving each dragon dominion over one part of magic. But she didn't create it, the elder dragons, she split herself into these six and she herself took dominion over water. However, the Elder Dragon system didn't work as intended, because instead of keeping balance by adjusting the flow of magic, the dragon started to just consume magic and bring destruction to always reach a default state of no magic each cycle. It worked, but not exactly the way Su Wong wanted it to work. Okay, moving on. We killed the Elder Dragons and Aurene is now in the state of Su Wong before she has split herself into the six Elder Dragons. But the problem is Aurene doesn't know about the Void. So in this moment the magic flow tries to combine itself back into the Void. And contrary to the general opinion that the Void is just nothing, in the Guild Wars 2 universe it is actually everything combined. And now it gets weird because I think the void we encounter in Geladelf is unique to Turia or the realm of Turia. So I think in the universe of Guild Wars 2 there are many realms or worlds and Turia is just one of them. And once there was a realm where the gods Melandru, Abaddon, Balthazar, Draenor, Lyssa and Doom were the same as the Elder Dragons are in Turia. But in their realm the balance has failed and their world was destroyed and they took the humans to Turia, not as a new world but also as refugees. And as soon as they noticed every realm works the same way, the gods left to not inflict an imbalance in the realm of Turia with just their presence. And yes, I know, the gods have still their own realms, which we can still visit in Guild Wars 1 and Guild Wars 2. But these realms are not the original world of the gods and humans. The realms like Fish of Woe or Underworld are just copies of the original world within the mists. I don't go much into detail here because I already did a video on how I think the mists work, but yeah. The realms of the gods now are just floating islands and copies of their old world, unable to let life flourish. So they left the humans on Turia. Okay, now is the question, can we get these monstrous creatures in the HP Lovecraft style? And the answer is no, we don't. Because the void works like the mists and therefore it needs a template. So at the beginning there was nothing, so the void doesn't have anything to work with. 
But now every realm has a planet with life in it. So the void has a template. So at the end of the day it will be more or less a corruption era. Where the reality of Tyria will be twisted. For example monstrous destroyer, Kragan and so on in a corrupted version. That also means the void isn't its own thing with an army or soldiers. It is the counterpart of the mists and will attempt to override the existence of Turia and most likely will let it implode like most likely happened with the realm of the gods. And Turia will be just fragmented isles within the mists unless Glynn's mission from years ago will actually become reality. But that will be part of another video. So anyways, thanks for watching. A lot is still just a theory here, but I guess a reader net will make sense out of it. It someday, I hope. And until then, I guess, until then. Can remember